सो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम जुकलकर सैयद इम्तियाज़ फ्रॉम दी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश श्री शिवाजी साइंस एंड आर्ट्स कॉलेज चिकली डिस्ट्रिक्ट बुलढाना टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर द प्रोज द टाउन वीक बाय ई वी लुकस इट इज प्रिस्क्राइब फॉर बी कॉम पार्ट टू सेमिस्टर फोर क्लास in the syllabus of compulsory english edward verrel lucas he born in 1868 and passed away in 1938 uh, he was an english essayist novelist poet journalist biographer autobiographer short story writer playwright and satirist so in that way he is a versatile writer Uh, he was associated with the humorous magazine punch for a long time uh, he is well known as the editor of charles lamb's works uh, you know the charles lamb uh, the writer charles lamb is famous essayist uh, uh, edward verrel lucas achieved success as a prolific author of light entertaining popular non fiction and novels so he became very very famous writer of non fiction and he has also written some of the novels also uh, he is best known as a very witty observant essayist when we read his essays we come to know that he is very excellent observer of uh, people and society around him edward verrel lucas in this prose the town week uh, he has given a very vivid picture of the moods and sentiments of the urban people on different days of the week uh, monday has its own character tuesday it's different from monday and wednesday is also very peculiar thursday has its own features friday is special for many people saturday and sunday saturday is uh, very important and sunday is almost a uh, enjoyable day a day uh, for which uh, all the people who work in offices they wait for sunday was well, sunday sunday is off day in this way edward verrel lucas he describes the moods of the people on the various days of the week uh when uh, in the beginning of the essay uh, e v e. lucas says that um, the um, uh, the town uh, sorry uh, only monday monday ish is the only word which we get from uh, the names of the days in a week for example monday ish is the word in english tuesday ish wednesday ish third day is friday is and saturday is and then sunday is these are not the words we find therefore i have marked cross here uh, and monday is is the only word monday is is the word which is used as a as an adverb as well and then it is used as adjective uh, with different shades of meaning all the meanings are given here uh, stop the video lecture and then read all the Uh, meanings different meanings of the word monday is but particularly uh, monday is in this uh, prose used as an ad as an adjective it means grumpy and disheartened on returning to work on monday after the weekend so an example is given here i feel a bit monday is this week at the start of a long project so when people return on return to work on monday 
they feel somewhat uh, disheartened to work they are not willing to work because yesterday was sunday and today uh, they return to work and they could not adjust with the work so that kind of feeling is mondayish <laughs> then uh, ev lucas uh, describes the peculiar features of monday he says Mon- monday possesses positive character uh, people are positive on monday and the day is indicated by cardinal number 1 the first day of the week so 1 is the cardinal number and monday is the beginning of the week uh if you look as further points out that monday brings a feeling of revolt among the men also uh, therefore the american revivalist held no meetings on monday on monday people are you know in a mood to revolt revolt against uh, whatever is told to them therefore uh, very humorously he says american revivalist want to bring bring revival in the society they never conduct any meetings on monday because they know that on monday people are in the mood of revolt and therefore their work will not be successful therefore they generally avoid uh, conducting meetings on monday uh, at the same time ev lucas also says that Uh, even though monday possesses positive character uh, on the other hand it is flat as well monday is flat as well uh, why it is flat because people feel mondayish and uh, and people also think that uh, there are so many days you know tuesday wednesday thursday friday and then saturday then comes monday then comes uh, sunday therefore there is a whole week they have to work uh, to reach to the weekend that is saturday and sunday week end uh, you know means two days saturday and sunday that is called week end uh, in european countries uh, we indians generally don't think of weekends we gen- we just think of sunday only then uh, ev lucas describes tuesday uh tuesday he says is a flat day it is dull and a tame follower of the courageous beginner monday is courageous beginner because it is the first day of the week and tuesday is flat <clears throat> it is dull and people are tame follower so the writer calls people tame follower why because um you know people start on monday they adjust with the work they try to adjust themselves with the work after uh, sunday and then on tuesday they just follow the orders uh, they don't oppose like uh, monday as monday uh, you know uh, people are in a mood of revolt on tuesday there is no such mood at all they just uh, follow the orders and uh, they try to get reconciled to the work they try to adjust themselves to the work and keep themselves busy working throughout the day on tuesday and on tuesday people don't uh, prefer to dine outside and uh, as far as the chefs of the famous restaurants they don't uh, try different dishes on tuesday because they know that they will not get um, you know good number of customers uh, to serve them and on tuesday people generally keep keep themselves busy in work and uh, at uh, you know at the uh, and uh, ev lucas further very humorously he says tuesday is uh, difficult to spell as well tuesday so you have to keep in mind the spelling of tuesday t u e s d a y so it is difficult as well uh, to pr- uh, to spell the word also then we we move on uh, to wednesday wednesday as evil lucas says is blunt 
blunt in the sense it is mild soft and gentle uh, with tuesday people gets uh, people become active uh, the week steers itself on wednesday the writer says people becomes uh, people become very active and uh, there are matinees on wednesday some shows are held on wednesday so people generally visit these shows and they start enjoying um, uh, you know the week and on wednesday people are somewhat active and things of adventure may happen on wednesday on wednesday uh, you know we can visit our friends because they are sure to be accessible so surely we can meet the meet our friends because on wednesday generally neither they travel to any other place nor they are busy because they are in the middle of the week and surely we can meet them and we can spend some time with them on wednesday so if uh, you want to plan to visit your friend you should visit on wednesday as uh, you know on wednesday people are very active politicians realize that they should not continue their acrimonious business for more than an hour so on wednesday uh, political leaders are also very uh, very cautious because they know that people are somewhat in a mood of adventure on wednesday they are active therefore they don't continue for a long time uh, their political business you know uh, political business we understand well that it is not for generally not for the betterment of the people it is betterment for the betterment for the uh, political leaders themselves therefore they know well that people understand it uh, if they continue their business therefore they just uh, conduct meetings or uh, their business for just for an hour and uh, very humorously uh, ev lucas also points out the reason of the failure of the previous government is that their uh, atheistical decision not to consider to consider wednesday as holy day so ev lucas points out here that you know the previous government failed because the previous government might have taken many decisions on wednesday and they failed all their decisions were uh, proved failure and therefore they have to possible that they might have to the government might have to resign the political leaders might have to resign and um, you know the other party might have formed the government therefore evil lucas very uh, very humorously says that uh, one should understand the holy uh, uh, touch of wednesday then we move on to to thursday uh, on thursday people forget the stirring of wednesday on wednesday they are very active but on but on thursday people forget their activeness and ev lucas says they return to folding of hands folding of hands uh, means they become inactive and uh, it is also a very good honest day and the people are somewhat active on this day it cannot be called thor's day as people are not active on this day therefore it cannot be called thor's day thor is the god of blacksmith so god of blacksmith represents activeness and therefore evil lucas says that we cannot call thursday as thor's day because there is similarity in pronunciation thursday and thor's day and um, you know both of the uh, thor is very active as a god of blacksmith and thursday on the other hand is not active at all then uh, evil lucas comments that if i were a businessman i should i am certain sell my share at a loss on monday because monday is a dull day therefore if he uh, has to sell his shares he will 
sell his shares on a loss and as uh, wednesday is very active he will get profit if he sells his shares on uh, wednesday and on friday uh, wednesday and friday he will get profit if he sells shares but on tuesday and thursday i should get for them exactly what i gave so tuesday and thursday uh, he he will neither lose nor he will gain anything because these two days are flat days then he says i grouped friday with wednesday and he is uh, grouped together the two days friday and wednesday wednesday is calm assured urban friday allows to be a little flurried and excited uh, and uh, uh, wednesday uh, stands alone wednesday is calm assured urban and friday is little flurried and excited wednesday wednesday stands alone friday to some extent uh, throws in its lot with saturday so wednesday on wednesday we are in the middle of the week and friday onwards we just you know uh, think of that uh, after friday there is saturday and we are coming close to sunday to the closing day of the week on friday people are very busy uh, many papers come many papers come out and too many bags are packed because uh, the next day is uh, saturday on um, and saturday is a half day half working day and people generally plan uh, to travel therefore on friday they pack their luggage and they keep ready their luggage so that they can start traveling uh, after in the noon of saturday friday is beginning of the end so from friday onwards people uh, you know think of uh, sunday and sunday is the end of the week so friday is the beginning of the end forerunner of saturday and sunday friday is perhaps the best day of the week <laughs> for one spends much of it in thinking of tomorrow and what of good it should bring forth so friday is very important day in that way people plan uh, the activities they want to uh, you know involved in on saturday and sunday therefore friday is in that way you know on friday people think a lot and they plan Fri- uh, friday's greatest merit is that it paves way to saturday and the succession of work cessation of work so on saturday and sunday the work will cease therefore friday's greatest merit is that it paves way to saturday and sunday it moves towards saturday and sunday therefore it is busy day and peop- and uh, therefore people are somewhat excited on friday then saturday saturday and sunday so saturday and sunday pass from the region of definable days this is what ev lucas says what is definable days definable in the sense we can define on monday can be defined like this on tuesday can be defined like this uh, wednesday can be defined like this but saturday and sunday we cannot define uh, you know then ev lucas says all other days have a fixed character more or less more or less the monday people generally feel mondayish and they have fixed character all the days have fixed character but saturday and sunday don't have any fixed character because uh, evil lucas says saturday and sunday are what we individually make, make of them what individually we feel on saturday and sunday that becomes 
the peculiar feature of that day so saturday sunday uh, are subjective it depends on the individual it depends on the person uh, whether to make saturday and sunday an enjoyable day or to make saturday or sunday a day on which on the, the two days on which they will complete some work if they consider if they plan to complete some work then these two days are very busy if somebody wants to travel then it becomes a day uh, two days on which they go on traveling uh, some people <laughs> students may plan that they will work hard they will study and complete some portion on saturday and sunday then it become their day becomes busy day so it depends on person people how they plan saturday and sunday in one family they are friends means saturday and sunday are friends and associates in another uh, as ill assorted as socrates and zenity uh, pay so socrates and zenity pay are husband and wife so saturday and sunday if we group together they are you know uh, family members and friends they have similar character friends in the sense they have similar character if we think in one way if we think in different way than saturday and sunday they possess opposite character very opposite character as socrates was a philosopher very serious person you can see in the picture that his wife is pouring water on socrates so uh, socrates is a philosopher and his wife was very quarrelsome so such two opposite characters are here uh, locked in you know yoked in sorry yoked in marriage so in uh, saturday and sunday are like that on one hand they belong to one family and on the other hand they have uh, you know different characters they are different in another way so saturday is not a day at all it is a collection of hours part of work part of pleasure and all restlessness on saturday people are not in a mood to work because uh, they have planned something they want to travel so some for some hours they are in the office for some hours they work and uh, half of the day uh, is off therefore people are restless to leave uh, the offices their working place and on saturday trains are full and shops shut too early as people plan to travel therefore the trains are full and uh, shops are you know they get shops uh, shut early because it is half a day and sunday for which people wait sunday is different to the different people evil lucas says for godly men and children it is holy day so uh, it is holy day therefore um, those who are very religious and children they visit church they pray there for long time so sunday is different for them and for the unholy uh, un sorry ungodly people for the ungodly men it is a day of jeopardized by an interest in the in barometers so barometer is a device that measures air pressure and shows when the weather is likely to change and those who uh, are not busy in uh, visiting church uh, they possible that they may uh, try to know what kind of weather will be there on sunday and if they come to know that sunday will there will be the weather will not be good on sunday and therefore they have to plan a lot and uh, they become busy in that or uh, you know very ironically um, the writer says evil lucas says that you know for the ungodly men who take interest in biometers the day becomes the day is jeopardized to one it is an interruption of the week to another it is the week itself uh, and 
you know and uh, it is as it is um, you know sunday they will there will not be any work therefore it is in interruption in the work uh, sunday on sunday there is no work at all therefore some people may think that sunday is interruption in the work and for some people it is week itself because many people wait for sunday and uh, sunday on sunday they enjoy a lot throughout the day and therefore uh, you know av lucas says that uh, sunday is uh, very busy for such people and certain people are there who just wait for sunday and they consider that all other days of the week are just preparations for sunday so these are the different features of uh, the days of the week uh, therefore the writer calls uh, this essay titles this essay as the town week you have to read the essay very carefully uh, read the text carefully and then uh, listen to the video lecture uh, then will be then you will be able to understand the uh, essay this is it is very interesting essay but some the language is somewhat difficult because ev lucas is not a common essayist he writes excellently no doubt but to understand it perfectly the students need to be need to read the essay seriously here this video lecture ends thank you